Welcome back to the Los Alamitos preview show. Well, certainly a trainer has been very effective here with a smaller stable than a lot of the other horsemen on the grounds. Yannick Rodriguez has been training for the EG High Desert Farms here over the past year. Had a two-time Futurity winner last year in Walk Through Crystal. And Orlando Gutierrez, our director of marketing and publicity, caught up with Yannick Rodriguez to talk about Walk Through Crystal and some of the other horses that she's training here right now. Well, over the past two years here at Los Alamitos Racecourse, EG High Desert Farms has been one of the top stables at Los Alamitos, last year ranking second in the overall standings with an outstanding win percentage of around 25%. This year, again, second in the standings, over 20% win ratio. Very good seasons here for EG High Desert Far Farms. The trainer in charge of the stable is Janet Rodriguez, just having a, another solid season. What's it like to train for uh, EG High Desert Farms and after a, a nice year last season? It's great, and I thank him for the opportunity of um, letting me train another year. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice feeling to train for him. And this Friday night, you have a couple of really nice babies that are racing uh, for EG High Desert Farms. Some of them are extremely nicely bred. Let's talk about Clyde Red Hot out of, out of uh, a mare, Clyde who's had some really nice horses running at Los Alamitos, including Clyde Mia, who won several stakes races. Tell me a little bit about Clyde Red Hot. Um, I really like her. Um, she's half-sister to Marco Check, which she qualified last year for the kindergarten fraternity. I still keep my hopes up on her. Um, that's why we ran her in the kindergarten trials. But she ran third, not too fast, but I still have my hope for her. And Jess Hawk also running on Friday night. Out of the Mary Dog Hawk family, Mary Dog Hawk won the, a great one race here at Los Alamitos, the uh, Millie Vessels. Memorial Handicap. What do you, can you tell me about Jess Hawk? She ran a decent fourth. Um, I decided to drop her. At least, you know, sometimes they need to build up a little bit of, so they can have a little more confidence. So that's the reason I dropped her for 16000 And hopefully from there, <laughs> I hope she builds up. She gets, gets a little bit bigger heart. Another one, Racing Santos. Also from a nice, solid family. And uh, what do you think this horse will do on Friday night? Well, both times he qualified. Um, the first time he beat maybe like three-fourths of a length, 12-4. Second time, the same, 12-4. But he beat the other horse very easily, like by two lengths. I'm hoping I, I really like him. I don't like to push him in the qualifiers, you know, let them do everything right, and from there we'll see. And on Saturday night, let's talk a little bit about that night of racing. Southwest Red out of a mare, short check who won the Southern California Derby here at Los Alamitos. That's a great one race. Made all kinds of derbies that season. Uh, what can you tell me about Southwest Red? He's half-brother Pedro Check. Um, first time out, too. Um, I have him for the races like late in the year. So we want to take it slow for him. So he's ready to run, so hopefully, you know, they need that first out, too. Can you give us a little update on uh, the champion, Walk Through Cristal, who you guys had so much fun with last year, winning the kindergarten in Edward Million Futurity? Laid off a little bit. Uh, can you give us an update? She's here at the track already. She's back in training, taking it easy. She'll be running, hopefully, if everything goes right, in August. Fantastic. Can't wait to see Walk Through Cristal. Can't wait to see all the EG High Desert Farm runners this weekend. Back to the studio. Well, thanks, Orlando, and the best of luck to trainer Yana Rodriguez and to Enrique Gonzalez of the EGI Desert Farms. Unless I commented on Twitter last week that it doesn't matter whether it's a $2,500 claim or a futurity winner, every time that the EGI Desert Farms win a race, Enrique Gonzalez is here and he's always in the winner's circle. He's really a big supporter of Quarter Horse Racing. Yeah, he, loves, he loves Quarter Horse Racing himself, and whenever we see him, like he's right. No matter if it's a low tag or a million dollar horse, he's there with a smile. And, I'm so proud of EG High Desert Farm and also Yannette Rodriguez. He's done a great job for the stable. Right. They've done about 20 to 25% yeah. winners over mm -hmm. the past year and certainly looking forward to some more big performances from their top horses as 2016 progresses. But we still